Hyundai India has unveiled their new Hyundai i20, the 2014 new model they call Hyundai i20 Elite at a starting price of 4.90 lakhs and goes all the way up to 7.67 lakhs ex showroom New Delhi. In this video, we are going to show you the car from outside, inside, we'll talk about all the features and the design of the car. We'll give you a test drive report very soon. I'll start with the exterior styling of the new Hyundai Elite i20 or i20 Elite. The front is now more aggressive, it gets a hexagonal dam which is fairly large and is surrounded by a lot of chrome. There is silver and chrome all around that you can see. The headlamps are now more aggressive and sleeker and sharper looking. The fog lamps are also now taller and larger. The styling has undergone some change. This is the Fluidic Sculpture version 2. You can see the similarity with the previous generation, yet there are many differences when it comes to this design. The side profile also looks fairly dynamic. It is very sporty with large alloy wheels. The top of the line variants come with large 16 inch alloys. On the side, you can see dynamic lines running all the way starting from the front headlamps merging into the rear tail lamp cluster. The side profile looks very dynamic. It gets some cool features like the power folding outside rear view mirrors, which also come with turn indicators. There are side body moldings. Chrome finished outside door handles which look very premium and also one very pronounced feature on the side is the windshield which wraps around the side and merges into the C-pillar. It is blackened and we see the similar thing on the Ford EcoSport as well and it looks fairly premium. Towards the rear of the car it looks very sporty and very stylish. The tail lamps cluster also move towards the side. They wrap beautifully towards the side of the car and merge beautifully at the rear. You also observe a prominent spoiler which comes with high mounted stop lamps. The rear windshield gets wiper, washer, defogger etc. On the rear you will also notice there are sensors which are proximity sensors which help in parking. There is also a reverse parking assist camera. The display for which has been provided in the inside rear view mirrors and comes with electrochromic mirrors. There is also fog lamp provided at the rear for added safety. Let me take you inside the new Hyundai i20 right from the driver side and the first thing that you will notice is the door trims. They are fairly premium and nicely finished. The driver side door trims get the power window controls, outside rear view mirror controls and the door handles are finished nicely in silver. There are deep map pockets and storage areas. Also the speakers for the audio system are also embedded in the doors. All the four doors get speaker systems. The steering is 3 spook with silver as well as black finish. It also comes with multi-function controls right on the steering so you can control your phone, audio system etc from the steering wheel itself. The instrument cluster also looks nice and also gets a digital display within the two analog dials that are provided on the left and right. On the left side you have a large tachometer and on the right you have a large speedometer. The dashboard design is driver oriented and has been finished in nice quality. The central infotainment systems comes with inbuilt 1 GB memory which we also saw on Grand i10. The automatic climate control on the top of the line feature comes fairly handy for convenience. There are two charging ports provided at the front. There are auxiliary inputs as well as USB input provided for your multimedia system. The glove box provided on this car is cool glove box so you can cool your beverages while you are commuting. The front seats are bucket seats and provide good support and they are comfortable. Driver side seat gets height adjust feature and the steering is tilt and telescopic adjustable which means you can find your perfect driving condition very easily in the new Hyundai i20 Elite. Now let me get at the rear seat and the rear seat is also as comfortable. It is again finished in the dual tone interior theme as the front seats and also gets rear air conditioning vents. The head restraints are adjustable for comfort and also the rear seats are 60-40 split seats so you can add some more luggage space if required. The rear luggage compartment is around 235 liters which seems optimum and if you need some more space you can decide to fold the rear seats either all of it or in 60-40 configuration as required. Under the hood of the i20 you get two engine options a four cylinder petrol 1.2 liter VTVT engine 
and a four cylinder diesel 1.4 liter DOHC engine which delivers a mileage of 22 kilometers to a liter. The petrol engine has been rated at 18.6 kilometers to a liter. The maximum power delivered by the petrol engine is 83 PS whereas it delivers 117 Newton meters of torque. The diesel engine is more powerful at 90 PS of power and an awesome torque of around 220 Newton meters. The petrol car is mated to a 5 speed manual transmission whereas the diesel car comes with a 6 speed manual transmission. Apart from that it comes loaded with a lot of features, safety features like dual SRS airbags, anti-lock braking system or ABS etc. On top of the line variants you also get push button start, smart key feature as standard. So if you are looking for a premium hatchback which is not very large in size yet is very good on features you can easily go for a Hyundai i20. We are going to give you a drive report in our follow up video where we are going to test drive this car for you and we'll tell you how it handles on the road. This is all we have on this quick look at the new Hyundai 2014 i20 Elite model for India. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. For more such videos and test drive review of the Hyundai i20, make sure you press the subscribe button and you subscribe to our video channel. It's totally free. This is all we have on this one. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.